Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be explaining my Java implementation of the order one crossover method. Um, as you can see here, I have a Java method here. It receives two uh, parameters, parent one and parent two. They are arrays. Um, I'm using arrays just for teaching and demonstration purposes, of course. If we use lists, then they are more flexible in terms of adding and removing information. So the size is much more flexible than arrays because arrays you know have limited uh, limited size as you know although the good thing about them is the speed of access because we use the um, um, in, in, in index directly anyway so we have two parents parent one parent two I should maybe check that the two elements are of the same length just for like a sanity check but we'll skip that for the moment we compute the length of the array which is the parent um, parent you know parent one or parent two and then we randomly choose two cut points, um, R1, R2. I have a method here called random number, chooses a random integer between 0 and L minus 1. Likewise for R2. Here I have this loop to make sure that R1 is indeed less than R2. I'm sorry, we don't want R1 to be uh, equal or larger than R2. And here we just create a child and then we initialize its elements to minus 1. Okay? Now what we do is we copy the element between R1 and R2, these two points, from parent1 into the child. Nice and simple so far. This is, I'm sorry, this is just the same as we explained here, the two parents choose two random points and then copy uh, the element between, two, between those two points from parent1 to the child. Okay, now what we do here, we create an array called y to hold the elements of parent one which are not in the child yet i just named it here y right and its size will be the total size of the parent minus the size that we copied so the number of elements that we copied are here in our case will be five this is why as you can see the size is l minus r2 minus r1 minus one right and what we do is we just copy the elements which are not in the child elements from parent one which are not in the child into y here i have a simple method called array contains it receives an array and one element one number for example one integer and it checks whether that a number exists in the array and it returns true or false accordingly so if it's not there if the, uh, the that that uh, member of the parent parent one is not in child yet then copy it in child right after that if you remember when we mentioned that we wanted to copy now element uh, which are not in child one yet but in the order of the child two if you remember when we mentioned that we can wrap around well what i do here is i just rotate the second child this number of places there the number of places or number of elements after r2 right so in our case here we only have two elements after r2 after this element we only have two elements we just rotate this array we rotate it right two places so that we can have the elements in order um, one four nine three seven right this is exactly what i do here is just rotate it by the way i don't rotate the the second parent i just create a copy of it and then rotate it number of places that uh, the same as the number of elements after r2 as i mentioned what we do now is um, we order the elements in y according to the order in parent two remember y has elements from parent one which are not yet in the child now we order them according to the order in the second parent and if you remember we rotated copy which is a copy an exact copy of parent two so that we can have the remaining elements ready to uh, to use we have them like one uh one four nine three seven and all the way until the to the end of the rotated array so what we do is we order them uh, according to the order in parent two. This is what we do here. We uh, have another array now called y1 and in it we save the order, the ordered elements. So what we do is we loop through the elements of the copy now the rotated array and we check if any of those, any element which is part of copy and exists in y, remember y now, the remaining elements from parent one which are not yet in the child if it's there then copy it to y1 right if it's there copy it to y1 and now y1 
has the element elements which are uh, not yet in the child but in their order in the order according to their order in parent 2 I hope it makes sense I keep repeating myself just to make sure the idea is clear right so y1 now has the elements in the order that we want and all we need to do is copy them into the child now if you notice the child here has empty elements well how do we know where to start well we, we, one thing that we can use if we want we can rotate right copy the elements nicely and then rotate left the same the same number of places or what i use here is i use just the modulus so what i here see i just work out the right index for each element i loop through the elements of y1 and then uh, work out the uh, the index r2 because we want to start after r2 as you notice right so r2 plus i which is the current index of y1 plus one modulus modulo l right the modulus here will give us as you know for example this array has nine elements so zero one two three four five six seven eight eight modulo nine is eight if we go further nine modulo nine is zero so we go back to the first element right does that make sense i hope it makes sense this this is uh, how we can copy those elements into their right places as i mentioned you can do the rotation or you can use the modulus i just wanted to show you another way of doing it now the child has the new child of course is completely filled with information all we need to do all we just all we need to do is to return it right if we want to create another child from the two parents then we just swap the order right and parent one becomes parent two and parent two becomes parent one and that way we can have another child so this code will be using it when we put everything together by the end of this course so that everything makes sense right Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.